He says, am I doing something wrong? Uh, I'll get that question right after we get through the ESO recap, so just stick uh, around in the channel, man, and I'll definitely uh, get you some answers for UTB to get that solved. Yeah, but ultimately, <laughs> with the, um, that Taurus, and I, I agree with what you're saying, it's just going to be a learning curve through everything for them. They're going to get the system out to the point to where they can see how it's um, getting used to the player base and if they like it they like it we're gonna work around what they're sending feedback in for that's why we have the slash feedback for us to voice our opinions to them and be like well I'm not liking this and it's not delaying my progress I mean if there's a bug for all means do slash bug but slash feedback the things you're happy with and what you're not happy with and they in the long run will get to those yeah it it, it can be a recipe for disaster I agree uh, what they're doing is a very ballsy move uh, but what I can say right now is the veteran rank system is not working. It is not working for this game. It needs to go. But what do you replace it with? You know, you just can't strip away the veteran ranks and say, okay, you're all level 50. Um, it's going to have to be phased in for reasons I was saying. You know, you, you just you just can't magically say, boom, all your veteran ranks are gone. Here's you some points. Have a good day. Moving on. Because there's people that's got tons of hours invested in quests and things like that. So, I mean, yeah. How do you phase it in? I agree, you've got to know how the, these things work. Uh, and not phasing this in correctly, yeah, it, it absolutely could be horrid. A uh, question from Torrenstenbull says, What happens if you get killed when you refuse to pay your bounty? Great question. I don't know. Uh, I seen in the ESO future of ESO panel, uh, Paul Sage. Whenever he's doing his little character, whoever was controlling it died. Does does he just respawn? It didn't show it. So I, I think that that's forever. something. I think that that's something that they don't really have an answer to yet. I mean, they may have some ideas, but I mean, you can't just respawn oh i'm fine and go about your merry way or say oh respawn to nearest way shrine there there's got to be something there that makes you not want to die fighting to get away uh i don't know i don't know um you get points right when you go up the list of how many crimes you do so maybe if you die with a bounty and you get killed by like a guard or another player, what's up nick like, welcome to the stream man points will drop and that will, um, like, make your bounty not as high. And, like, in Skyrim, if you had, like, a bounty lower than, like, 200, you wouldn't get attacked. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I sent in some stuff, you know, about there being jail time and actual mm -hmm. minutes of your life that, okay, you can't do nothing. You're in jail. Or, or, okay, you're in jail. You get a lockpick. Can you pick your way out of a master lock with that lockpick? You know, just depending on how much time you have accumulated or whatever, you know, is maybe how many lockpicks you get. Like, if it's your first offense and you're in for, you know, like, I don't know, five minutes. You're in jail for five minutes. You know, uh, you get 100 lockpicks to pick your way out. So you can pick your way out, and then you have to sneak by the guards and things like that. If you're caught, then they'll put you back in there for, you know, another 30 seconds or something like that. Just... Time, the time would have to be the thing, but there has to be something there to make people say, I don't want to go to jail. You know, if you just say, oh, you're dead, just respond to Waytron. Let's all maybe, be thieves. <laughs> maybe you lose, back, like in Skyrim, if you went to jail, which I don't think a lot of people ever did, because they probably just fought them off or no. stealth, but... Uh, but, you know, if you went to jail, and you did have, you didn't escape with the key or the uh, lockpick you you would lose like your skills yeah your skills would start to degrade yeah, yeah it could be something too because if you heard me say it there is apparently skill lines in these things too outlaws have a skill line enforcers have a skill line the term skill line is in both of those let me go back down and we'll find it I don't know if anybody heard me say that or not <laughs> and I don't know if it's meant to be there but it's there
Did you see Bamless question? One second, please. All right. It's like an hour and a half of scrolling. <laughs> I don't know what he's at. Right here is the enforcer. Players who want access to a justice, justice themed skill line. Is that a whole other skill line? Do you lose XP out of that skill line if you get caught? I, I don't know. Maybe. What was Bamla's question? 25 years to life for murder. I guess they would have to extend the sub. <laughs> I mean, I agree with what Torrenson's saying about um, the whole re um, bringing it out and basically letting it prototype do it. They they need to do that. They need to get the opinions on things. They they need to accustom to the people who are leaving the game in general. The people who are crying for the more MMO side of it, then you got the people crying for the I want Elder Scrolls. Well, um, quick. Quick answer for Bamela. I just seen her question here. Uh, can players murder other players? Yes. You can also murder NPCs. Uh, stealing from other players. Nothing was said about stealing from other players, I don't believe. Go ahead, Ops. Definitely, you see given 187 on an undercover dragon knight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's... The, the, the theft system, I mean, it's, it's very gray about theft. Uh, either personal property or pickpocketing. The team wants to be able to be sure that any objects in the world are apparent even without the use of UI elements, whether those items are owned or not. The chance to successfully pickpocket an NPC will change second by second as they undertake different actions which will prevent outlaw players which will oh my god I lost my place the chance to successfully pickpocket an NPC will change second by second as they undertake different actions which will uh, prevent outlaw players present outlaw players with a window of op windows of opportunity for theft so, based on that, they're saying NPCs are pickpocketed. It doesn't say anything about players. I would imagine probably not, uh, just because that would be something that would be farmed by people. But, you know, go back Could to you? what Torrenson, Bull, or, uh, Torrenson said, you know, and what you say saying, opposite. absolutely. The champion system is going to have to have some hardcore testing. I... I don't know when we'll see the champion system. I mean, this this information right here coming from the Guild Summit really paints a picture of just how huge um, the changes are coming to this game. I mean, this is big, big changes. This is like a huge overhaul to this game, and it's extremely risky for the game if, uh, if they don't nail it. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Are you playing today or just talking? We're going to be playing here in just a few minutes, Acidic. About to wind up uh, ESO recap here in just a second. I'm sorry, my uh, headphones came out. Did you get Bamal's question? About the um, murdering other players? Yeah. Yes, answered. All right. Yeah, you're right, Torrenson. I mean, there's, there's still unknowns in there about stuff... Uh, we definitely got more concrete answers about stuff. Uh, you know, about the, especially like the specifics of the champion system, putting points into things, you know, how that thing rotates around, and you're going to have to pick, you know, one for each uh, area health, magicka, and stamina. You just can't, you know, pick health and just health, 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 and dig deep into one tree, and that, that's it. You know, they're going to make you put 
points into different uh, champion uh, bonuses to prevent people from digging so deep on something that would take time to normally get to. So, um, and what's good is the fact that they say each of those trees, the health, magic, and stamina, all three, regardless of which one you're looking at, all three is going to have something for every uh, build in it. So it's not going to feel like, oh, life. it's not going to be like, oh, I want all the health stuff, you know, and then you put a thing in health and it's like, God, now I got magic and stamina. I don't care about these. I don't care about these things. From the way that I'm reading this, it's going to be like, okay, I'm, I'm around to health. I pick this one. I want that one. Boom. I rotate to magic. All right, I'm back to magic. I've been working over here. I want this one. Then it's going to rotate to stamina. And I've been working in this thing in the tree for stamina and I pick this one. And I'm back to health. So that's the way I hope it turns out. If it turns out as a, oh God. I'm in the Magicka tree. Here's a wasted champion point. If we get to that point, that's bad. We don't need that. Any other questions about the um, Guild Summit or the champion system I just went over? I know that was a very, very, very long episode, but holy crap. I, there were so many notes. So many. That's seriously, like, condensed. It's all right. You did a good job. That was needed. This will also be uploaded on the YouTube channel for replay, so you guys can, uh, can watch it if you want to. Go back and uh, nitpick stuff out. I'm going to try to get everything time stamped as well. I've not time stamped a few of the recent episodes. Need to go back and do that. So hopefully I'll get those time stamped in the future soon. But I definitely need to do this one because it's a very long one. Um, when's all this coming? Good answer, Pip. When it's ready. I mean, that, that's really all that they can say. Uh, there was that actual term used in the Guild Summit. Atropos asked, you know, when when can we expect this stuff when it's ready, was what they said. And That's the best way. I'm glad that they are taking that approach. There is there is no reason to rush these kinds of changes. I mean, these changes needs to be out, but oh my god, you don't you don't like Twins you don't said, you don't you don't half ass make these changes and just throw them in there and say, Here you go, there they are and have fun to be bad. That'd be real bad. There really wasn't a ton more information about spellcrafting uh, that I've seen in there. Tornstable was just asking why I didn't talk uh, about spellcrafting. Defa has an earlier uh, oh, recapped, and it goes over spellcrafting a bit more in depth. Not too much, because we don't know a lot about it, but more information than it was on this one. Yeah, it, I agree with you right there, Torrenston, a lot. He says, but they have no idea how gear and mobs will be normalized. That's a huge thing. You know, when they say things like, we're going to have to redo the stats on the gear. We're going to have to redo the stats on mobs, how much they're hitting for, and things like that. That is pretty much saying, you know, the previous three systems I just mentioned is going to have to be done first before we get to this point. It's like, we know we want to get here, but we don't know how to get here yet. So that that's what they have to take their time on, and... And make sure that, you know, whenever they say we're going to multiply your stats by 10 and give you these larger health pools, they know what they're getting into. Because, you know, like right now, if something hits me for 500 damage and I've got 1,000 life, that leaves me with 50% health. Pretty simple math. If they multiply that by 10 and you've got 10,000 health and you're still dealing... 10 times the amount of damage 